The Edge Bipolar Arthroscopic Radio Frequency System provides optimal thermal effects for rapid ablation, resection, and coagulation of soft tissue and hemostasis of blood vessels in wet field environments. The system consists of a generator, versatile bipolar probes, and an optional wired or wireless foot controller. To begin setup, plug the power cord into the back of the generator and into a power outlet. Press the power button to start up the system. You'll see the touch screen interface come to life, which allows you to easily select a preferred volume level for alerts, quickly adjust ablation and coagulation power levels, and promptly access system settings. To set up for the first time, touch the gear button to bring up the system settings. Select language and then scroll between the available languages. Make a selection and then hit the back button to save the choice. To change the default temperature of 43 degrees Celsius, select Temperature on the Options menu. Adjust the temperature using the arrows on either side. Press the back button to save the selections. To toggle the temperature monitoring feature on or off, simply tap the icon located below the numeric display. To change the display from Celsius to Fahrenheit, tap on the numeric temperature display. Note that the temperature monitoring feature is only available when using one of the bipolar probes. When the selected temperature is reached, an alert will sound. The alert is for information purposes only, as the system will not reduce or shut off power based on the temperature. Any changes made to the language or temperature monitoring settings will be saved in the system, even when powered down, until adjusted by the user. All of the Edge Bipolar probes feature integrated hand controls. However, connection to a wired or wireless foot controller is available. For wireless foot control use, first insert the receiver's connector into the port on the back of the Edge console. A foot control symbol will appear. Then, turn on the receiver by using the switch on the top of the foot controller and receiver. The Edge console will sync automatically with the foot control receiver. An audible tone will sound when pairing is successful for the first time. To provide easier access to the foot control port, install the optional foot control extension to bring the connector to the front of the generator. Note that the system will prevent activation if the wireless foot controller is turned upside down. In addition, hand controls on the bipolar probes will automatically be deactivated when the foot control icon is illuminated. To install a bipolar probe, simply insert the probe connector into the port on the front of the generator. The type of probe installed will appear on screen the generator will automatically optimize the power utilized based on the probe that is inserted. This efficiently and effectively generates a strong and stable plasma layer. Ablation and coagulation power levels can easily be adjusted using the touch screen arrows. The yellow arrows adjust ablate and the blue arrows adjust coag. In addition, the ablate power level can be adjusted by tapping the gray button on the bipolar probe or the black button on the foot controllers. The edge generator also works with ConMed's LightWave monopolar probes. To install a monopolar probe, insert the grounding pad connector. Then, attach the grounding pad to the patient. Edge automatically monitors the impedance level of the grounding pad. A single foil grounding pad will display a full green bar. A split foil grounding pad will display a variable orange bar that fluctuates based on the impedance level. Touching the orange bar will set the baseline for impedance, which changes the bar color to green. If the impedance exceeds the set baseline, the grounding pad error alarm will sound. To complete monopolar probe installation, select the type of probe installed from the touch screen. Then probe type will appear on the home screen to indicate a successful connection. There are two main types of system messages, warning messages and fault messages. Warning messages are displayed in orange and require user action. Some of the most common messages include check ground pad, replace probe, and service required. The far less common fault message indicates an unrecoverable hardware error and is displayed in red.
When a fault message appears, the system needs to be sent to a ConMed service center for diagnostics. For more information, please consult the instructions for use or contact customer support.